Uh, now, Jill is uh, on location now at the Calgary French and International School doing their annual production, and this year is Legally Blonde, which is a great one, Jill. Oh, it's a great one, Legally Blonde, and the school always takes on these great productions, so we're happy to be here for another year. And joined this morning by the musical director, Nicholas. Good morning. Great to see you. Good morning. All right. So uh, thank you for doing this, waking the kids up early, because your opening day is just a couple days away, and I know that your rehearsal schedule is quite grueling. So tell us how you're feeling leading up to the next couple days. Uh, well, it's it's a challenge to be honest because there's a lot, of, as you said, there's a lot of practices and stuff for us. So we're working till uh, super late at night, um, and we're here, uh, happy to be here actually at 6 a.m. in the morning. So um, we uh, our opening night is uh, in two days. Uh, we're working very hard on uh, on uh, creating a great show, a great quality, a great quality show for this uh, junior high production of Legally Blonde. Keep it positive, as the track that we're hearing right now says. So that's wonderful. And I mean, this is really extensive. We have about 25% of the cast. You were saying here, how large in scope is the show? And the show of all the cast is 50 students, um, and we do also have a live orchestra of like 30 people. Uh, so if you're including the backstage and technical crew and, and everything that goes around uh, our cast, we are, um, we are close to 80 to 90 people, 90 students involved in the play, which is more than half our junior high population. Okay, wow. Now, how did the kids become involved? Do they audition? Is it a class? It's extracurricular. Yeah, it's extracurricular, and um, they do they do audition it's just for placing, and we give them their role, their character. And but everyone is involved. Everyone that wants to be involved, they're involved. It's more like learning how to act, sing, and dance, um, more than doing a, a, a big production. So there's no there's no real audition. Right. Yeah. It's, it's a learning process and a full band, as you mentioned, which is really special. Some of the kids are operating the soundboard here this morning, so there's lots of involvement and uh, we're happy to be here. So Legally Blonde, for those who aren't familiar, I think a lot of people know the movie. It's also a musical. What's the show all about? Yeah, the musical has been created after the, uh, the, the first two movies. It's been created in 2007. Uh, it's actually um, a musical about stereotype and how to break the stereotype to pursue our, our dreams and do uh, good in life. It's a good message. It's a great show. The music is fantastic. And it's also a very funny show if you haven't seen it. So here at the Calgary French International School, we're getting a sneak peek, Tara. Love it. Um, we'll catch up with Jill in just a little bit. And checking in now with Jill Bellin. Jill is back from vacation and in the thick of things at the Calgary French and International School, checking out their production of Legally Blonde. Jill? Yes, Legally Blonde, a great show, Tara, and a really, you know, expansive show as well. And lots of kids involved in this production, including Kate and Ryan, who are joining me here this morning. So, Kate, tell me, why are you wearing a jail jumper? Um, it's for my character, Brooke Windham. And she's a fitness queen who's accused for murder. Oh, uh oh. So, so then what happens? You have a musical number. Yeah, it's whipped into shape because I jump rope for a living okay. in the show. So I have to wear this, and because I have a blue shirt on underneath for when I'm not in jail when they're watching my video. But when I am in jail, I have to wear this because it's a jail uniform. Yeah, of course. You've got a costume change. I totally understand. Uh, now you're a pretty busy, gal. You do other things on top of being in the musical. What else have you taken on here at school? Um, I do school. school Sports like volleyball, basketball, track, and soccer, but I also play soccer outside of school. Oh, wow. So this yeah. is a busy schedule. Yeah, it's it's pretty busy. Awesome. Uh, all these cast members are fully committed, including Ryan. Ryan, tell me about your character. Uh, my character is Warner Huntington the mm Third, -hmm. and uh, he's kind of pretty, he's pretty cocky, and he's going off to Harvard, and he's going to become a senator. Yeah. Well. We'll see about that. Right. And uh, yeah, and in the beginning, he breaks Elle's heart, and uh, he goes off to Harvard, and uh, Elle follows him to try and win him back. And uh, I don't want to spoil anything, but no, no, thing no. things happen. Things happen. Maybe there are other hearts broken at the end of the show. No spoilers whatsoever. Now you are busy as well. What's it been like being a part of this cast, and what kind of commitment has it taken? What's the time commitment? Uh. It was a pretty big commitment. I mean, I had to sacrifice a couple hours after school, but it didn't really affect me much. I mean, all my sports were either on other days or after the musical practices, so it was cool. All right. Good time management these kids have. What's been the best part about being a part of the show? Uh, making new friends, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I, like, I'm, like, I've met so many people that I wouldn't even have talked to otherwise. 
awesome. And Kate, same question for you. What's the best part about being a part of this? It's probably the same thing, like making friends. And because once you get into the musical, you kind of become this big family, and people like stick out for each other and do each other's makeup if you haven't seen today. And so, yeah, I think it's just making friends. It's yeah. How do you feel before opening night, just a couple days away? Um, I'm nervous because it's such, there's so many people there, but most people say the light in front of when you're on stage is kind of blinding, so you can't really see anybody, but I'm pretty nervous. You're pretty nervous. I think you guys are going to do great. So break a leg on your opening night. Uh, we're happy to be here with the cast members of Legally Blonde here at the Calgary French and International School. By the way, Tara, I did a little survey here, informal survey. Yeah. Uh, nobody cares about Justin Bieber. I know Andrew Schultz oh. really cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. This is a good sign. When the world From stops the caring, I believe it's a good sign. We'll see how Andrew does by the end of the show. Still Joe Bellin, well, she's traveled to the Calgary French School this morning, checking out this year's production show. Yes, it is this year's production of Legally Blonde this year, annual visit at the Calgary French and International School, and happy to be joined again this year by Jerry and Andrew, the music teacher and artist in residence, and Cole, who is a member of the band here. Uh, tell me a little bit about the combination that you've created here. It's students, but it's also returning students and some professionals. Yes, we actually have even more than ever before alumni students that have played in the band in previous years who are either moved on to high school programs that are maybe a little different than what we have at the school, or in some cases have graduated. And, and we have some parents as well, and we have professional musicians. We have uh, six of them this year that are integrated in the program that are sort of supporting the, you know, a very challenging score. It's a right. Broadway production, so it's pretty great collaboration between uh, all different kinds of uh, participants. Yeah, a Broadway production that the junior high class has taken on, so that's impressive in and of itself. And then on top of that, you've been able to flesh that out. So what's it been like for the kids to play with professional musicians, Andrew? Oh, that's pretty awesome. It's a great challenge for these kids, and we're happy to have them involved, and they're having a lot of fun back there, that's for sure. It's really nice for me to get to actually play with them, too, since I'm playing in the band as well, so that's a really neat aspect for myself. How challenging is the score? Uh, well, it's the same exact same show they used in West End at, in London. So that's the, the score we're using. And in fact, the last three years we've been doing that. And uh, even though that's not an easy thing, with the pros we have, uh, we, we surprise ourselves actually. And the students surprise themselves what they can accomplish over the period that they rehearse this music. Okay, fantastic. Cole, one of those students in grade nine, violin player, viola player, and the tallest kid in his class, as you can see. Uh, Cole, what's it been like for you? You've done a couple of these musicals already. How challenging was the score? for you? Um, well, it was quite difficult, and as they said, it is a Broadway production, and, yeah. but it's nice because we get a lot of help from uh, our music teachers and now professionals, and, but overall it is pretty difficult. Yeah. Pretty difficult. How are you feeling ahead of opening night? Um, pretty good. It's, uh, we've practiced quite a bit lately and still doing a few rehearsals, So, uh, but overall I think we're very good and okay. ready. Awesome. Good and ready for opening night here. Uh, great to see you guys. As always, the band will be joining us a little bit later. What a challenge for these junior high students to be playing the full band, a full cast of Legally Blonde. Uh, mm -hmm. Impressive stuff here at the Calgary French and International School. Ted Tara? I would have killed to be part of a musical like that when I yeah, was in junior fun. high school. They didn't have anything like that. My daughter's in rehearsals right now. <laughs> so I'm well versed Calgary, in this world. It's such great. A great. Lots of options for right? kids, especially high schools. My daughter's going into grade 10 next year. All kinds of high schools out there for anyone to go to. We'll all come yeah. to all of your productions. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, we're going to check in with Jill once again, hanging out at the Calgary French and International School, uh, getting ready for their big production of Legally Blonde. Mm hmm. Mm, bacon. Bacon and musicals on Breakfast Television here this morning. Legally Blonde, the junior high production, quite a feat for these kids to take on. And I'm being joined this morning by Sylvia and Christian, the choreographer and drama coach. You guys are carefully watching practice here this morning and just a couple days away from opening night. So, uh, Sylvia, tell me a little bit about the choreography. And you had some help doing this this year. Yeah, we did. We had a, a big team of us. Uh, we split the songs up. And this one happens to be my song, but we had a few uh, lead kids that wanted to take it on, so a couple of our Delta News, and they did a magnificent job, and we have a new teacher who's an acrobat. So we have some really neat moves, thanks to him, put on there, so thanks to David. And uh, it's been really exciting because the music allowed us to fuse a bunch of different types of dances. So we've got some mock Irish dance, we've got some Fred and Ginger, some Michael Jackson, Britney Spears. You can really see a bunch of the different types of music up there, maybe a bit of Latin, some disco. 
You have a teacher who's an acrobat? I know. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, he's a grade five teacher. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This school just gets better and better. Uh, Christian, tell me about working with these kids, because not all these kids are drama students, right? No. A lot of these kids take a, um, the musical as an extracurricular. Uh, so for a lot of them, it's their first time actually doing theater. So we have to go through the basics with them. But we do have some help with uh, some of our more experienced students. Uh, and they actually help them out uh, with some improv skills, what to do on stage, where to move. Uh, but for the rest of them, what we're trying to do with them is trying to give them roles that uh, are different to their personalities and challenging them that way. And for most of them, they're doing a really good job with it. And let's talk about the selection process for these shows, because you must look at a Broadway show and think, how can we do this with the cast of junior high kids, right? Well, this one was really difficult because originally it has a small cast. So that's what kind of scared us at the beginning when we originally picked this. Um, because I think the, the original cast is somewhere around 20, but we have about 50 kids in this one. But with Fame that we did last year, we, we had the experience of having a large ensemble and it actually works. Um, so yeah, it was quite difficult. We spent uh, many hours debating, umming and awing about, you know, what talents do we want? Do we want good singers, good actors, uh, you know? Dancers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, but I mean, I think in the end, uh, we got people placed in the right spots and we got ourselves a good show. Such an accomplishment for you guys, so congratulations and break a leg on opening night. Legally Blonde, the musical here at the Calgary French and International School. Uh, these kids are doing a great job and Tara, as you mentioned, I would have killed for an opportunity like this when I was in junior high. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tara and I are eating the bacon from Rush Ocean Prime right now. <laughs> I thought I'd be done. Me too. <laughs> I thought Joe... <laughs> I thought Joe would go a little bit longer on that story. Anyway... Okay, uh, checking in with Jill Bell and hanging out at the Calgary French School this morning, showing off a really cool production they're working on, Jill. Yeah, it's a great production here of Legally Blonde and quite the undertaking for these students, junior high students here at the Calgary French and International School. And I'm being joined by some of the students, cast members. We have Beth, Linton and Zoe here today, who've also taken on leadership roles here as part of the production. So Beth, tell me, uh, how did you participate in that way? I choreographed two songs. And what was it like for you to take that on? Well, it was really interesting. I honestly didn't think that my group would take it up so fast, but they've been really great all along. Okay. And have you been a part of the musical cast before here at the school? Yeah, this will be my third production here. Your third production. And what has the experience been like for you? It's been a really great experience. I mean, we have great support from everybody, and it's a really talented cast. Okay, awesome. And as we've seen here this morning, Lyndon, you did something a little bit different in your leadership role. What did you have to do? Well, I worked with the uh, lead character, Elle, in the musical. Um, worked on acting, worked on blocking uh, of her character and just uh, just figuring out where she's, how she's supposed to act on the stage. Yeah. Yeah. And how challenging was that for you? Well, she's a good actress. She's got a lot of energy in her, so it wasn't that difficult. It was just more um, getting her into her character. Yeah. That was really tough. And um, once she got in there, she was very comfortable and actually performed a lot better awesome. that way than before. Yeah. That must be satisfying to see those improvements. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. As an actor, uh, me personally, I like to uh, I like to see kind of people get into their characters and just to see what they want to accomplish kind of in their role. It's just amazing to see as a coach and. Yeah. Good for you. Okay, and Zoe, how about yourself? What was your leadership role? Uh, I did more of the same as Beth. I choreographed one song. Yeah. And tell me about the group of students that you worked with and what it was like working with them. Um, I worked with a group of nine girls, we're the Delta News, so we're basically L sorority. Yeah. And it was really fun to work with them because it was more personal because there's only nine of us. Mm -hmm. So it was easier to teach. And, yeah. cool. and how does it feel to see your work on stage? It's really cool because you're like, I came up with this, this is from my head, and now it's actually happening in a way you imagined it to. Good for you. Break a leg to everyone here today. Uh, we've reached the clapping portion of the production, I guess. Legally Blonde, you guys, opening night in just a couple of days. So congratulations to the staff and student here at the Calgary French and International School for such a great accomplishment, and they do this every year. You know, we've been visiting these kids every year, and some of them have really gotten tall. Ted Tara? Yes, it, it tends to happen. Uh, Jill, you got to uh, rev yourself up tomorrow. You're going to the International Auto and Truck Show. Yes, and bringing along a friend, I believe. Gadget Guy will be joining me tomorrow, so a team effort. Aha, uh -huh, the cool. dynamic duo. All right, Jill, we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Sounds good. That maybe, place is fun. Maybe Mike Yanni's going to, I don't know, find some cool auto gadgets to show off tomorrow. No.